You see you, Babsy? <laughs> you could block me any day. Hey, block me right there. Block me right here. Block me right here. Babsy block me every day. Yo, Babsy block. <laughs> hey, everybody, what's going on? I said, let me come and do a little video quick because some mad motherfucking people about the place, you know. Why want to understand what's going on here? First thing, I want to say something because lately there's been some like confusion about a few things. Um, people are under the impression that um, Beijing people don't speak English. I just would like all of you who think Beijing's don't speak English to show me your hand. I would like to put you all in a room and I would like to blow you up so you don't procreate, okay? That's one thing. Next thing, there's been some conversations about my lips, right? People are saying that my lip is always got this white cake on it when I'm blogging. So I was like, should I address this or should I not address this? But I said, let me address it in case somebody has the same issue as me. My lips are two-toned, so the outside is purple, the inside is pink. The white that you see is where the two colors meet, actually. Sorry that I don't have perfect lips, but um, yeah, that seems to be a topic of discussion. And lastly, this topic that I'm an uneducated individual, I don't even want to address that. Some people told me that I need to go back to school and get an education. Anyhow, VIP folks, your t-shirts, mount the place, then pack up, the mail out, the thing got the um personalized letter from me on it. Sorry that it took so long, as you know, big hill break, she for Tana, I just about here dealing, had to cut grass today, that's why my eyes are kind of puffy because I got allergies, life is hard in the hood. Anyhow, yesterday... I'm half asleep, CNN's running, and I hear that somebody gone on some mass murdering spree in America. So I get up and I'm like listening to the situation and more and more details are coming as time goes on. And I'm kind of like, are you for real? Did this guy really kill innocent people because he can't get crutch? Like, no, something is seriously wrong with the average person walking around in society today. There's this highly unstable, needy, clingy type of personality that I'm seeing in more and more and more and more and more people. I see it even on Facebook. You message me, you don't get me in 30 seconds, and then you're like, well, I'm writing to you, answer me now. And I'm like, whoa, I was in the bathroom shitting. Can I shit? Am I allowed to poop? Seriously. Everybody needs to take it down a notch. The problem too is, and I'm going to talk about the problem. The problem is that the people that are leading are misleading. So now in my home, I had my mom and my dad and my parents are very intelligent people and they used to guide me and they still guide me. So when I have concerns, questions, bad days, good days, I have people to kind of keep me stable. Now, there's a lot of people, and it's unfortunate that your mother and your father is a fucking idiot. So now what's happening is these people who have fucking idiots as parents are looking to society and people in society to basically educate them, show them right from wrong. And that is where shit is starting to fall apart. Because you should be having your parents show you right from wrong. But right now, it's society showing you right from wrong. So now let me show you an example how, how this can start spiraling out of control. Now, in Trinidad the other day, this video comes out of Anil Roberts. Anil Roberts is the sports minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Now, he's on this video cutting up marijuana, talking about how he just drink hard. He got a whole bunch of women in the room with he. He married. So, my thing is this. A, he's not that he's married that I care about because it's not illegal to cheat on your wife. But he's there with marijuana on a videotape. So I'm saying to myself, like, jail, prison, gone jail beside cartel. You got rot in hell. So next day, Ian Allen. Now, if you've heard of Ian Allen before, Ian Allen in Trinidad and Tobago has this talk show, kind of show, kinda, like cops, kind of, but it's called Crime Watch. Basically, like somebody teeth your car and do something, you go to Ian Allen, Ian Allen does his vigilante justice and then and, and gets the shit back. So I'm thinking to myself, like, well, you go after the little small rasta man with a joint and you throw him in jail because in Trinidad and Tobago, marijuana is illegal. There are people in jail right now in Trinidad and Tobago for marijuana, having an ounce, having a spliff, having a roach, having a blunt. So I'm thinking, oh, this going to be a showdown. Ian Allen get on the people television and now puts Anil Roberts as the victim. Talking about how, oh, you know, somebody come with a videotape and that ain't right. And you know, the person on the video have a substance abuse problem and a bunch of cunt. Now, when you supposed to lay down the fucking law, you don't lay it down. You playing pussy hole because you align to a certain political side. 
That is my problem with the people in society today. Now, Ian Allen has hundreds and thousands of followers. Now, they're looking to you to say, okay, yeah, say, put down the law, lay the justice. You come and now you you put the villain as the victim. How you think our society will get any fucking better? Because all you've done now is shown that, you know what, when you're a politician, you're exempt from the laws. So if you get caught smoking marijuana, the person who videotaped you is to blame. But the Rasta man on the bike trying to sell fruits and make a living, yeah, put his ass in jail and lock him up. Now, all I'm saying is this. If it's good for the goose, it got to be good for the gander. And the problem in Trinidad and Tobago is that, and in Jamaica, and in Barbados, and in all these places, is that from the time you become an artist, a politician, you're exempt from laws. So, no, Jack here rapes a woman, but now we want him free because he can sing great. Free Jack here because, no, no, just because he raped somebody, child, it doesn't matter. He can sing amazingly. He's an amazing artist. This is the problem with all of you fucking people. So then when I tell you I bun out R. Kelly's, bun out Jack here's, you telling me that I got a problem. No, you got the problem. Because when your daughter gets raped, who are you going to run to and help? They ain't going to help you. Especially if it's a politician or an artist or somebody that's cool that raped your child. What are you going to do? Who's going to help you? Because at the end of the day, if you are leading a society and you're showing that certain people are exempt, that's where the corruption starts. The other day, The Vice did a, a documentary on Trinidad and Tobago, and they're talking about the corrupt leadership, the corrupt police. The police now kill a man in Trinidad and Tobago for no reason. Mistaken identity, oh, he fucking did, I'm sorry. Now you left a man with his family, with that you're, you, the police are not going to go to jail for that. The same way a man leave Toronto, gone in Grenada, and he dead because he hugged a police officer that he used to have a relationship with. She lie and ball rape, and the police beat and killed the man. Nothing comes of that. So what do you think is going to happen to your society when you keep violating people, violating people, violating people? Do you not think at some point they're going to start to act the fucking ass? And I'm not blaming Ian Allen for the problems, you know. I'm blaming Ian Allen for having a voice and not being part of the solution. I look at people like Raga Shanti. Is the, the, the murder rate in Jamaica Raga Shanti's fault? No. But you have a quarter million followers. Before you talk about getting a job, uplifting your life, looking to ways to go to school, looking to ways to find trades, providing the people of Jamaica some hope, that there's going to be some, some financial stability for their future. No, you on the radio talking about swiping and piping and horning people. And who are this suck who's pussy in a car? That is what you're interested in. Now, if that's what you want to be interested in, that's fine. But my belief in life is that if you have to whom much is given, much is required. There's people that follow me. There's people that say, Babsy, I'm looking to you for advice. So when I get up here, I got to say the fucking truth. I can't get up here and mislead people as a leader. So when you have these politicians like Portia Simpson Miller, Kamala, Frondell, who don't say shit when nothing happens, they're not leading. You have followers leading a nation. Then you've got leaders leading your nation into a ditch. How things gonna get better? I would like to know. As I said, I'm not blaming Raga Shanti for murder rates. I'm not blaming Ian Aline for anything. I'm blaming you all for not stepping up and doing your part as a person with a voice. In life, there will be people who have, there will be people who have not. Fortunately, I am somebody who was born with a brain. If you like that, if you don't like that, you might hate me. But the truth of the matter is I have a brain. I could trick many of you. I could get up here and talk about Pastor Babsy in session and lead many of you astray like religion does. I get up here and I tell you God ain't gonna come on no BB and message you and save your life. You need to save yourself. You need to think or before you act. So when you see me hard on single mothers, I'm hard on you because you had that choice. You let a man climb on top of you with no condom. He wanted to, to tangle. You could have opted to not tangle. But you all are under this impression that you can fuck up and there's somebody to catch your life out there. I am telling you that you need to catch your own life and steer it straight. But when I'm telling you this, you're cussing me. I'm angry. I'm vexed. I don't have no man. I this and I that. But I don't have no criminal record because I ain't getting in no car with somebody with a gun that I don't know about because nobody can come in my car and I ain't getting in nobody's car. As hard up as you think I am, I gonna fly on a plane tomorrow. 
I know that the police pulling beside me on the road and wave at me and tell me to turn my soca up louder. Police don't trouble me. Why? Because I'm a, a proper citizen. I do what I'm supposed to do. I'm not here telling you that marijuana should be legal or marijuana should be illegal. I'm here to tell you that it is illegal. Therefore, you should not engage in illegal activity. When you choose to do that, you should be punished. It could have been found on King Solomon's grave. I don't know. It could be actually a herb. And, and all these things you guys come and tell me about. All I know is that in Toronto, marijuana is illegal. Don't fucking come around me with nothing illegal. That is the choice I made for myself. You choose to do what you want to do. If you choose to be a single person and having sex with a man in hopes that if you get pregnant, he's going to step up to the responsibility. Why should he if you didn't? Because none of you are taking ownership of your life. All you do is blame other people for your problems. So a Neil Roberts now on a video, before he come and be an outstanding citizen that he should be as a politician, he is blaming the opposition team saying that they put out this video to tarnish his name. He's not taking ownership for him being on the video. He's not taking ownership for him engaging in illegal activity. He's blaming somebody else. So then when she's pregnant and blaming child father, how do you think we're going to steer back on track? All I ask is that for those of you that have the brain, use it for something constructive. You're a DJ selector and you're on the microphone. You have a Samsung Galaxy 5 and the only thing that can cross your mind is to tell a girl to come and skin out her pussy for the phone. Before you say come up here and sing a song, do something constructive because some producer might see this video and take your life out of poverty. Then you, Selector, would have contributed something valuable to society. No, what you're contributing is slackness. You're telling someone to skin out their pussy. Then now, you want to know how to control your daughter when she's sitting there watching a videotape with you telling somebody to skin out their crutch. Oh yeah, but no, it's not you, but then it's, yeah, that's why all this confusion is happening. People have confused affection with attention. A like on Facebook is replacing their father and mother talking to them and explaining certain things to them. You might not have a father or mother, a grandmother, a grandfather, an aunt, an uncle, somebody with sense. No, but you're caught twerking on a video because you want likes. Affection and attention are two different things. Many of you are like, oh, you know what, if you get negative publicity, publicity is publicity. No, it is not. Why do you want to go in the world and be a negative person and get negative attention? When all you were really looking for is love from your mother or your father. Seriously, all of us have to start thinking about what we do. How we contribute bullshit to society. When we put a like on a video with a girl skinning out, how are you confusing the child behind you watching you like that? How would they know the difference if that's what they're supposed to do from us and what they're not supposed to do? Because their dad likes that. Their brother likes that. Their uncle likes that. We got to stop the bullshit and look at ourselves and say, you know what? We have to make the change at home in our own mind. It doesn't mean if you're smart. It doesn't mean if you're dumb. It doesn't mean if you're a goat. You have to up what you want for your life. So when things are not going your way, you're not buckling under pressure because you know what? You understand that today is bad, tomorrow is going to be positive. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. But if you're here aspiring to be somebody that gets crutched when you don't get it, you're going to have a nervous fucking breakdown. All I'm saying to you folks, I know it's deep, right? But think, West Indian folks, when you go to a Jack Your concert and you're praising a rapist, don't be surprised when the level of rape has gone up in your community. You support a rapist. I'm not telling you to go and gas him and light him, but you're openly taking your hard-earned money to support somebody that raped someone's child. Think about what you're doing before you do it. That is all I'm going to tell you. Before I go, as I said, as I'm responsible, ladies, think twice about having sex with that person when they climb on top of you and they have they they have their nut bus and it busts in you and you're left to take care of this child and you don't even know you're lost yourself think about how you're compounding the bullshit in our society i'm not talking to the women who were with their man for five and six years and things didn't work on their single mom i'm talking to the women who were single when they were pregnant 
How the hell are you going to be single at, when you're pregnant and expect to not be a single mom? Don't expect someone to take responsibility for your mistake. You need to start taking responsibility for yourself. Anyhow, I gotta go curl in my hair, <laughs> loose body wave. Anyhow, bye. By the way, before I go, yeah, you know what? Forget it. Next week, I'm gonna tell you about my book that's going up on Kindle before I forget. Okay? Remind me in the week my book going on Kindle. Later.